negative two degrees so it's so cold i had to bring out the portable heater and turn on hey guys okay so i just got ready and we're actually gonna do a skydive at 12,000 feet today which i'm really excited about because skydiving is definitely at the top if not top three of my bucket list i'm pretty sure you guys have bucket lists too um, and yeah we need to call them in 10 minutes to check if the weather is good but looking outside i think it looks perfect it's gonna be a sunny day today it's coming with me <laughs> i'm actually really excited yeah i'll probably talk to you guys like on the way there because i actually have to get ready and prepare my stuff that I need to bring. All right, I'm all ready. Got some extra coat. Okay, I'm going to the car. Look at how frosty it is. It's been like this the whole morning. But this is what the outside of our house looks like. Morning. <laughs> I just called Skydive Monica and we were advised to check half an hour before the flight if it was gonna go because of how weather dependent it is. We made it to the Monica Airport. You go. Yeah. It's so cold. No, this is the first flight. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> You're not ready? Hi. Hear me. How do you feel? I'm not ready. This is my <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I'm so excited to see my video. No? Yeah. I couldn't see, like, because it hurts on the neck, but, like, that was awesome. I want to do it again. Yay! Any last words, babe? Freezing cold. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, we're back and we just finished doing the 12,000 feet jump. Um, I had Daniel as my tandem and then Ed had Scott and all I can say is 100% recommend. They made us watch a orientation video um, of basically what to do once you're up in the air. Like so, become a banana. <laughs> yeah, they said, um, feel like a banana. Yeah, feel like a banana or Shape. look like a banana, shaped like a banana, which is exactly what we did. And hopefully, in the video, it'll show. Uh, what What can you say, babe? How was oh. your experience? <laughs> he had a <laughs> he had a little bit of trouble. <laughs> what, what What happened to you? <laughs> now we're on the way to lunch or should I say brunch because I didn't really eat a lot this morning and like told it to my tandem I was like um, he asked me he was like what are you, what's the plan for the rest of the afternoon and I was like oh we're probably gonna get brunch or lunch because I didn't have any breakfast this morning and then I told him that I didn't want to like pack on the breakfast or like eat too much because I might throw up um, and the middle of the air and he was like you know that can be a good thing or a bad thing because for some people like if they don't eat like in the morning or before the flight um they actually feel pretty sick because they have like low blood sugars so 
so I was like, oh, well, I'm kind of glad. To me, yeah. yeah, probably. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that I took a little bit of bites. Okay, we're gonna eat at Urban Grind. Yogurt? Yeah. All right, we're done with the whole activity today. <laughs> Why do you look so scared? So we just got back from the whole shenanigan today <laughs> and Ed's currently waiting for his video and his photos um, His took a while before I guess it got uploaded but mine took like literally 30 minutes after the flight so that was a good one for me um, But yeah overall the whole experience was definitely amazing <laughs> because um, everything was like, the whole instructions was pretty clear from the get-go and um, there's nothing really much to like, no, I like, I guess take note of. I mean, you basically just, you know, free fall, <laughs> um, do the banana pose and the, your tandem basically does all the work. Um, although I got lucky because my tandem gave me the option of um, maneuvering. Oh, I guess everyone has the option, but like, yeah, I got to maneuver the parachute. He taught me like how to pull and basically if you pull on one side, that's where the parachute basically turns. So um, it was a bit of a struggle because basically you're trying to like fight with the wind. So like you had, I had to like use all my force with like my arms and my arms are like literally the weakest. It's my hardest workout out of all the workouts out there. So yeah but it was pretty cool like it took i think 10 to 15 minutes to go up the top like to go up to 12,000 feet and then um it takes i i'd say five to ten minutes to go down and yeah your tender will be talking to you anyway like on the way down trying to check if whether you're okay or you feel sick and stuff the landing was pretty smooth it didn't hurt the bum at all like he knows what he was doing fun that's definitely probably if not top three that's probably the top of my bucket list and yeah i would definitely do it again but like maybe in a couple of years i won't do it right now um and then i'd probably go like higher but um that's it for today in this video i don't want to make it long before i go yeah, basically, I'm going to show you the last clip, which is the video from the GoPro, the Handycam. Oh, and when it comes to prices, um, we got that deal from, I think, 400 plus down to 150 And you just have to add $149 on top to, if you want to get the Handycam, which is like a GoPro on the wrist of your tandem. I got Daniel, and he was the best coach. He was the best tandem ever he was really entertaining and um he just kept the conversation basically natural it's just like you're talking to a friend or something but yeah i'm gonna go and phoenix saying bye bye <laughs> hey bye and the clip will show in three <laughs> I don't know how to count. Three, two, one, go. Good morning, Jed. Hi. Welcome to Skydive Monica. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. How are you feeling tonight? Awesome. Excited? Yeah. Nervous? Definitely. A little bit. Yeah, good. I thought it was going to be the only one. Yeah. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Uh, are you ready to go skydiving? Yeah, I'm ready. Any uh, words before we go to friends and family? Uh, Love look you out all. For cool pictures and videos. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. Enjoy your skydive. Yes. See you out there, alright? Have fun.
back on the ground, safe and sound. How was that? Good, good. <laughs> well done. It's brilliant. <laughs> Thank but you very much for jumping at Sky of Wanaka. Thank you. Good to work, Jen. Woo! Tell everybody else, what are we going to do right here in Wanaka today? We're going skydiving at 12,000 feet. Skydiving? <laughs> going skydiving. <laughs> You're excited? Yeah. 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 Can't wait, huh? Yeah, yeah this is going to be good. Terrified. <laughs> terrified but determined. Yeah. We're going to do this, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. High five. Yes. Yeah, amazing. Feeling good? Yeah. Just yeah. my hands and my foot. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Everything's fine. Hey guys, it's Jenica from the future. I just forgot to do another in outro for this video. Um, I just keep on forgetting them, so I just wanted to quickly say goodbye. And um, I hope that you guys like the video. If you do, please like and subscribe <laughs> and leave a comment. I just feel awkward saying that still, but yeah, um, I hope that you do support my YouTube, little, little YouTube channel. And 
I just also wanted to quickly say that if you have the means to basically make it out here in Wanaka if you're from New Zealand, please do so because the best thing that we can do at the moment is support these local businesses because um, they're trying their best to basically survive this whole post-pandemic situation. So yeah, um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Also, don't forget to follow our social media accounts and thank you if you made it this far and yeah. I hope you guys have a good day.